So one question I typically get, especially when I'm talking to physical therapists about stopping stretching is, well, where is your proof in the literature that says that stretching is detrimental? And I'll say, I have a whole bunch of proof that stretching is detrimental. What proof do you have in the research that stretching is beneficial? And they'll say, well, every, every study that's ever been done will show you that stretching increases range of motion. And I'll say, exactly. It increases range of motion. The important question to follow up with is, how does it increase range of motion? Why does it increase range of motion? Because you're sacrificing neuromuscular function. You're forcing a muscle to stop contracting, which will always give you increased range of motion and increased flexibility, which is dangerous and detrimental. And we should never be sacrificing a patient's neuromuscular function just for range of motion and flexibility. So here is the work cited for the course that I teach when I teach physical therapists, athletic trainers, the 180 system. So here's 151 published research studies, articles, journals, textbooks that will tell you 100% that when you passively stretch a muscle, you are decreasing neuromuscular function. So these are journals like the Journal of Applied Physiology, Medical and Science Sports Exercise Physiology, Journal of Physiology, Canadian Journal of App Applied Physiology, European Journal of Applied Physiology, Strength and Conditioning Journal, Journal of Strength and Conditioning. So these are all published studies and the studies read like this, altered reflex sensitivity after repeated and prolonged passive muscle stretching. Um, effects of acute stretching on force. Uh, injury to muscle fibers after single stretch of passive uh, muscles in mice. So it doesn't matter what journal you look in, you can look in any journal you want, pull up any research study that's been done on passive stretching, and it will tell you that on humans, on mice, on frogs, on birds, all stretching decreases neuromuscular function, decreases force output, decreases performance, and increases the risk of injury 100% of the time. The problem is we have universities that are still teaching garbage like stretching and foam rolling and massage and fail to teach things like the 180 system that are rooted in scientific facts. So your, your schools will teach you how to cup a needle, which have zero support in the literature, but they won't touch 180 because we're saying the exact opposite of what physical therapy has been doing since the 1950s.